Mankind has been asking the question of whether there is life outside of Earth ever since, well, time immemorial. Ancient mythologies are rich in fascinating stories about superior beings from distant worlds or neighboring dimensions that once visited or even ruled over the realm of mortal men. Artifacts and archaeological sites serve as tangible evidence of different civilizations as fixation with different realms of existence and out-of-this-world creatures. This obsession with speculating life outside of Earth has really only grown stronger now we live in the modern age of information and with our exponential advancements in science and technology, the pursuit of finding the answer to this mystery has become, I would say, more aggressive and purpose-driven than ever before. Even NASA scientists have declared that discovering life beyond planet Earth could happen in the next decade or so. Basically, it's no longer just a possibility, it's more of an inevitability. And though we're already studying the viability of life on other planets within our solar system and the rest of the galaxy, we may not need to look so far to get the answers that we seek. Because in recent years, there has been much speculation over the likelihood that proof of alien life is really just floating above us, that is lurking somewhere in our very own planet's atmosphere. Let me explain. In 2013, a team of British researchers from the University of Sheffield and Buckingham University claimed to have found the proof of microscopic life that is of extraterrestrial origin in the Earth's atmosphere. According to the article that was published in the Journal of Cosmology in the same year, the team proposed reportedly released a specific designed balloon into the stratosphere over Chester and Wakefield in England during a meteor shower. When it reached the altitude between 14 and 17 miles, microscopic samples were collected, and once the balloon landed back on Earth, these samples were studied under electron microscopes in hopes of detecting signs of life. And the researchers got exactly what they hoped for when they found the traces of single-celled microscopic algae known as diatom in the samples. Of course, finding microorganisms in the Earth's atmosphere is really not all that surprising. Many scientists have done it before, and it is generally agreed that their abundant presence so far up in the sky can be easily explained by natural processes like storms. However, to the British researchers that found the diatom fragments, their discovery is of paramount importance in proving once and for all the existence of alien life. According to Milton Wainwright, a professor from the University of Sheffield's Department of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology and the lead researcher of the study, the biological particles they gathered from the atmosphere did not come from the Earth's surface, but actually originated from space. Wainwright defended his team's findings by stating that while it is ordinarily assumed that such biological particles may have found its way up to the stratosphere from the ground, it was unlikely that the size of the particle they found could have been carried all the way to the height of around 27 kilometers or close to 17 miles. The only exception that allows for its likelihood is the recent occurrence of a violent volcanic eruption. However, no such event took place within three years that study was conducted. Hence, their only conclusion was that the diatom fragments they collected actually arrived from space and that alien biological entities are continually entering the planet's atmosphere to this day. To Wainwright and his colleagues, their findings are especially groundbreaking as it has the potential to completely alter our current perspective on biology and evolution. Now, the study was not without its haters. The majority of the scientific community, on the other hand, were not as ecstatic over Wainwright and his team's discovery. The theory that life exists all over the universe and that microscopic creatures are transported to different worlds through meteors and comets is regarded as a credible notion by many scientists. However, just because mainstream scientists are inclined to believe in the likelihood of the existence of microorganisms of cosmic origin does not mean that they're going to give Wayne Rice research a free pass. Moreover, to them, to allege that the curious biological particles that Wayne Wright and his team found in the atmosphere is of extraterrestrial origin, they wanted extraordinary and irrefutable evidence. And there were a few things about Wayne Wright's study that the mainstream scientific community questioned. First of all, the research was published in the controversial Journal of Cosmology, a publication that has been largely labeled by mainstream scientists as a notorious niche for research papers about French science, which gave their findings a very skeptical treatment right from the beginning. Secondly, it is unlikely that the diatom fragments they found came from comets as these microscopic creatures can typically live only in an aquatic environment. Comets, however, are known not to contain any liquid water except for brief instances when these heavenly bodies are approaching the sun. As such, it is too unlikely that diatoms from distant planetary systems managed to live for many, many years traveling in space while they rested on an icy flying object. Also, diatoms are generally believed to have first developed sometime in the beginning of the Mesozoic era, which is relatively late in terms of the evolution of life on Earth. This means that diatoms are in some ways advanced life forms as they started to exist 3 billion years after life is estimated to have begun on this planet. Hence, if we were to find an extraterrestrial microorganism of alien or 
origin in the atmosphere, we should expect them to be intrinsically different from all the known organisms that lived on our planet. For example, Wayne Wright and his team could have attempted to prove that the diatom fragments contained amino acids that are completely different from the type of amino acids found in the diatoms on Earth. And had they shown evidence that the samples they found did not share Earth's fundamental biochemistry, they may have convinced more scientists to back their claim. But here's the thing, Wayne Wright and his colleagues are not the only ones to assert that they have found biological particles that supposedly prove the existence of life outside of Earth. In fact, news broke out in 2017 that the Russian space agency Roscosmos allegedly revealed that they have found extraterrestrial microorganisms from the dust their scientists scattered from the surface of the International Space Station. 19 dust samples were purportedly collected from several organized spacewalks on the face of the ISS that date all the way back to 2010. And this is not the first occasion that Russian officials have claimed that they have found proof of alien life on the ISS. Back in 2014, a Russian space station official claimed that trace amounts of sea plankton and other microscopic particles had been found on the surface of the ISS. But the cosmonauts' American colleagues had not confirmed the allegations made by the Russian scientists and maintained skepticism over such findings. Now, while it has been difficult to find hard proof that microscopic life forms of alien origin can be found in the Earth's atmosphere, I do feel like it won't be long until we get definitive evidence that would be enough for government institutions or scientists all over the world to declare that we are truly not alone in the universe. But I feel like we're, we're approaching this from two different perspectives because I, I do feel like we're aiming a little low here. I mean, we've already established that there are countless galaxies and the universe may just be infinitely huge. And there are some people who believe that we are the only intelligent life form in the universe, which I feel like is, is just complete nonsense. But to think that we are the only living organism in the entire universe, that's pretty egotistical and just downright stupid. So yeah, I think it's great that we're, we are gathering evidence. We're, we're out there looking for microorganisms of alien origin. And while discovering an alien microorganism, that is crazy exciting news. I will be very excited for that day. Excited and terrified because you bring that thing here, we don't know what's gonna happen. But maybe we should take that next step. You know, go ahead, let's try to make first contact here, which I personally believe ultimately will happen. And I just hope when it does, then it'd be more Star Trek and, and less War of the Worlds. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Happy holidays, and I'll see you later.